And the last race of the day. What are we going to see after the shock of the last Diamond Challenge Skulls race that we saw? It is Red Matthews from Australia in the bark station on the left-hand side of your screen. And Edema from the Netherlands in the buck station on the right-hand side, who's just struggling with that stream a little bit, moving into the centre of the course. So he'll have to get himself back onto the correct side. Red Matthews hugging that boy line. So he's not too phased by the sculler that's moved adrift. But Red Matthews from Mercantile Rowing Club in Australia. He's the fourth ranked lightweight rower in Australia at the moment. So uh, we saw the lighties from Australia having some success at World Cup 2, winning a bronze uh, in the lightweight men's double skull was Hamish Parry and Leon Chambers and uh, I think it was gold medal in the lightweight men's skull to Sean Murphy. So being the fourth ranked lightweight in Australia uh, is a pretty tough gig at the moment. Very strong little group. But we move here to the Forley and it looks as though Red Matthews probably has his bow just in front of Edema from the Netherlands, Tom. Yeah, good sculling from the mercantile athlete. Of course, both of these clubs that they're representing have or had other crews in the regatta. Gas fell a little earlier today in the Temple Challenge Cup, so this is the last remaining athlete from that contingent, and he'll be keen to make sure that the name doesn't or isn't extinguished on day two. But at the moment, as you say, Sarah, Red Matthews, several international appearances at his back, probably just enjoying the better of the sort of opening two thirds of the final race of the day, but very little to choose between him, it has to be said. Look, you would think that um, these guys would be expecting whoever they whoever progresses, that they're going to face up against Mahe Drysdale in the next race, but I don't think that they would have seen that Mahe is not the person who's gone through, it's actually Matt Brigham from Leeds University. So that'll be quite the shock for the winning scholar of this race, I would think about the next round draw. They'd naturally assume they'd be facing the two-time Olympic champion and six-time winner of this event. Well, I suppose it's a lovely surprise, but then you start to think, well, who on earth just beaten Mahe Drysdale on the course that he's won six times? So although I'd be delighted not to be facing Mahe in the next round, I'd probably be slightly worried to face whoever beat him. Uh, but just watching that there, I thought Red Matthews had established a margin of control over this, but it looks like the sculler from Gias Adema. And such is the way with these single skull races, they can just change on the flip of a coin. You can just lift and raise the boat speed of a single skull relatively simply in comparison to the heavier eight. And that's just happened here because the sculler from Holland has just moved on. Look at that pain face. That's a, that's a mid-race face if ever I saw one. Yeah, he's got his race up, uh, rate up just a little bit higher than... Red Matthews, good morning to those of you in Melbourne and at Mercantile Rowing Club watching this round of the Diamond Challenge Skulls. 4.45am in Australia, so bright and early for you there. But uh, certainly Red not having it all his way. It is Edema from the Netherlands who has regained the lead. And look, that water's really tough, isn't it? When you see it from this angle, you can see the wash, you can see the breeze that builds up during the day. Tricky conditions, particularly in a single skull. Yeah, very difficult. It's uh, not easy to be racing in the last few contests of the day in a single skull, as you say, Sarah. A lot of wash, a lot of things to contend with, including the parties that start to kick off on the banks, especially on the, uh, the boats that, that trail alongside the course. But at the moment, the sculler from Holland dealing with that well, and he's continuing to move away from Red Matthews of Mercantile Rowing Club, establishing couple of lengths of clear water now and it's his race to lose so it's red's first time at the henley royal regatta at the australian national championships he won silver in the lightweight men's single skull gold in the lightweight men's four and won gold for victoria in the 2019 king and queens cup interstate regatta the penrith cup in the lightweight men's four so a very capable sculler from Australia, but struggling at this point to keep up with the Dutchman, who's leading by about three lengths. Yeah, Dima from, from the Netherlands has been part of the actual Netherlands senior squad this year, raced at the Poznan World Cup and finished 17th and 
That is off the back of uh, several successive and successful seasons at under-23 level, where he won a silver medal in the double of the World Championships last year. So an athlete who's come through the Netherlands development path, as so many of those guys do from the really strong university rowing programs that they've got over there in Amsterdam and Rotterdam. And he's just sculling away here from Red Matthews and, and enjoying himself now as he comes down towards the line. Yeah, two class scullers here, but it will be the sculler from the Netherlands, Adema, who will progress through to meet Matt Brigham from Leeds University. Probably pretty relieved when he finds out that it's not my head drive style. He'll be racing tomorrow. You did not expect to be saying that. I did not expect to be saying that, Tom. Crossing the line there, Red Matthews from Mercantile Rowing Club in Australia. Not progressing three. Edema from the Netherlands, progressing in the Diamond Challenge Skulls to Friday.